All right, let's talk about locking shuffle mode. All right, guys, so today's gonna be a shorty video and what I wanna talk about is actually locking shuffle mode specifically. So if you're not familiar with shuffle mode, I guess I'll put a card up on the screen. I'm sure I've explained it in one of my videos somewhere. But basically shuffle mode, your audio acts like a magnet, right? So clips can't overlap each other when you move them. You can't accidentally overlap them. Let me just copy paste so I don't mess up anything that's actually a wanted part of this session. This is actually a client's uh, voice acting reel. So in shuffle mode, when you have different clips, let me just kind of break this up into a few different clips, but they act like magnets. So you can only move them so that they're touching another break point. You can't accidentally overlap audio. You'll notice as I move things around in shuffle mode, it will, for example, if I delete something, it fills the gap and it moves everything behind it in the session. So the thing about shuffle mode is this is great when, for example, with voice acting reels, right? You, If you want to delete bad takes and have it fill the gap so that then you don't have to move things around later, it can be really handy, right? There are a lot of great uses for shuffle mode. The problem is that you can really easily, so if I copy and paste this, you can really easily move things behind where you're working on a track by accident. So sometimes we want to not accidentally go into shuffle mode and move things around. So that's when this feature comes in handy. And that's just the idea that you can lock shuffle mode. And I haven't seen very many people talking about this online, so I figured I should mention it. But basically, if you go command and control on your keyboard, so that means you have to hold down both command and control, and you have to be in a different mode besides shuffle, right? So I just clicked on slip to move out of it. Now I'm gonna hold down command and control, and I click on shuffle, and this little lock icon pops up. And so what that means is that shuffle mode is now locked. When I click on it, I can't accidentally move into it. If I hit F1, which is the shortcut to go into shuffle mode. I'm hitting it right now. It doesn't go into it. You can't accidentally go into shuffle mode when you have it locked like this. So now I don't run the risk of accidentally shifting into shuffle mode and moving things behind wherever I'm working on a track. So I could see this being really helpful for beginners, you know, making it so that they have to very purposely go into shuffle mode. I've seen my students go into shuffle mode by accident a whole bunch and then accidentally move things. I know that it does happen with beginners. I know for some of us it might seem weird because I uh, don't remember the last time I accidentally went into shuffle mode, but I do see it a lot with students. So I could see this being really good for beginners, making it more of a purposeful thing. Because now if you want to go into shuffle mode, you have to hold command and control again and click on it to unlock it. And then you have to again click on it or press the shortcut to go into it. So that's that's it. That's the basic idea is that you can lock shuffle mode. It can be really handy. Well, I guess that's it for the video. Let me know what you guys think. I hope someone finds this useful out there. As always, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'd appreciate all of that stuff. I have a Patreon, so it's patreon.com slash noise. And my patrons help support this channel. They help me continue to make these videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all my Patreons. Patreons? Patreon patrons? Anyway. I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thank you so much for watching. Okay.